hello guys this is the uh, eighth tutorial of ASP.NET MVC series I am Yasir and today we are going to discuss about razor views uh, and razor views have the extension dot .cshtml dot .cshtml stands for C sharp HTML so guys uh, like we use HTML pages where we can only code in HTML language uh, but uh, here we can also code in C sharp like it makes it more powerful if you can code in C sharp and in HTML on on razor views and uh, you have more flexibility to do things in better way so let's uh, jump into Visual Studio and let's uh, see how can we use uh, razor views to code in uh, HTML and in C sharp as well so to use uh, to switch to C sharp mode we use at the rate sign guys like you can see if I put in here at the rate you can see it has uh, uh, yellow color uh, indicating that we are going um, uh, switching over coding style to C sharp coding so let's say I uh, type in here uh, string so you can see it's uh, uh, expecting it as a C sharp uh, uh, data type so you can use in here like variable names or something like uh, if you use here brackets you can code here like I type in here string uh, my name is equal to Yasir so here we can use our variables in that we have just defined above like I put in here uh, h to tag and I say welcome and I want to use the name that is stored in my name variable so what I will do I will type in my name but this will be plain uh, string but we are going to use it as variable name so if we want to refer to this variable we will be going to use add the red sign and the variable name otherwise this will be a plain text like if I remove it and I press control F5 and I go to this uh, view uh, so we will be uh, viewing the output as welcome my name instead of welcome Yasir so let's wait a while <coughs> This is taking a little time so you can uh, see here it is showing the message welcome my name because it is uh, the razor view uh, will only understand the C sharp variable if we put at the red sign before the variable name okay guys so now if I run the project so you can clearly see that now it is using the variable value that have been stored by uh, me in this string variable likewise you can make uh, uh, arrays like if I make uh, an integer array like int array is equal to and I put in here some values ok guys we can declare our arrays like that in here and now we can easily use the uh, values over here like if I use now again if I want to use for loop or for each loop or any kind of C sharp coding I use this at the rate sign I can use uh, uh, int i 
is equal to 0 uh, i less than array dot length now guys you can see this is detecting it as variable that we have just declared here because we already have used at the rate sign here so less than uh, array dot length and definitely i will be going to make it i plus plus now because this is the body where we can use uh, c sharp coding but uh, uh, razor view is smart enough to detect if we i put in here some h3 tag uh, and uh, then i put in here the value at the array index i so again because we we are uh, we have switched to uh, html coding again we want to go back to c sharp coding so we put in here at the rate sign before array of i if i miss uh, this at the rate sign this will be h3 tag array i th that will be uh, printed onto the screen as array of i without uh, showing its value so again i will put in here at the rate sign and that must fix our issue and must show the real values you can clearly see we have the array values here so guys uh, do practice uh, and uh, do switch from razor view to c sharp uh, and uh, from c sharp to razor and uh, when you have done enough uh, practice you are uh, very familiar you will be very familiar with using the c sharp syntax with the the html syntax so that's it for <coughs> that's it for this tutorial guys